I was fortunate enough the other day to be able to demo the new MyLube from IANTECH and I wanted to share one of those cases with you. One of the more routine cataract cases that I've done uh, recently. This device here is the MyLube from IANTECH and what it is is a, a night and all loop on a handle that allows you to expand and contract the loop. And after doing our hydro dissection, I'm placing that loop into the capsular bag and as you, with a little thumb pusher, you can extend that that nitinol loop and you'll see that nitinol loop go around the lens and then with a little twist of the wrist you'll see that that nitinol loop there it go pass underneath the lens all the way to the other side and then we're going to rotate back to the center line and then with your thumb you can constrict that loop and a little trick here is you also advance the device a little bit so to prevent from rotating the lens up and out of the capsular bag but it basically strangles the lens and cuts it in half half using the the loop and in this case i decided let's rotate the lens manually by about 90 degrees and then we'll go back in with that night and all loop or the my loop one more time making sure you're under the capsular bag expand the loop completely and once again you'll see it surround the lens once it's fully expanded, you can rotate the, your wrist and it will carefully slide underneath the lens. So here's that little bit of rotation and you'll see that, that shadow go all the way across and then come back. And then you can constrict that night and all loop and it will once again cleave the, the lens right in half. So here we've been able to fragment the lens into four quadrants uh, before using any ultrasound energy. You can see here what a beautiful job it does transecting the lens into four pieces. Now that you've got your four quadrants, you can simply remove them with whatever technique you prefer, but you don't have to worry about the initial chop technique or stop and chop or divide and conquer. Bimanual IA is my standard for cortical cleanup, and I didn't find it any more or less difficult using the MyLoop. Um, really fairly straightforward. Implant's going to go in, remove your viscoelastic just like you usually would. This was only the second or third case I'd used the MyLoop in, so you can see it's got a relatively short learning curve. The device I found relatively easy to use, and I'm excited to get more experience with it and try it out on some more complicated cases. I'll keep you updated.